What's happening everybody? Welcome to my kitchen. Hey, today I'm going to show you what to do with zucchinis. If you've ever grown them at home, you know you get way too many to deal with. And you can only have zucchini bread and roasted zucchini so much, right? So let me show you how to pickle these bad boys. And before you know it, your friends will be coming over just to raid your pantry. So let's do it. First thing you need to do, preheat your oven. Why? We want to sterilize our mason jars. So go out and get some mason jars, whatever sizes you think you're going to need for whatever kind of harvest you have. We have a big harvest here, so I like to use the uh, 24 ounces. Uh, you can pick them up at any hardware store, online, but they're super easy to work with. You basically have a jar, a band, and a seal. You want to wash these really good with soap and water before you use them and be careful because when your hands are soapy these jars are slippery and if you slip and drop one of these jars they're gonna break and when they break they're pretty nasty so be careful all right there's a couple of different ways to sterilize the jars after you've cleaned them with soap and water some people boil them in water for about 20 minutes and that'll sterilize them I find that's a little bit too much work so what I like to do, I like to wash the jars, then I like to pop them in the oven. That's how they sterilize medical equipment. So set your oven at 230 degrees and put them in there for 20 minutes. Take them out and you'll be good to go. So the next step in the process is to boil the water and get the water ready for the hot water bath. I like to start this early because it takes a while for the water to heat, but if you're like me in our house, there's only one way to boil water, and that's with an electric kettle. Here's the electric kettle I really like to use. This is how we boil water. If you don't have an electric kettle, you've got to go get one. It literally takes about two minutes for water to boil. So this one's pretty hot, so I'm simply going to hit it again get it boiling, pour it in my pot, then I'll fill it back up and repeat the process. The size of pot that you're going to use for the hot water bath really depends on the size of mason jar that you're going to use. Since I'm using a quart jar, I need to have a large pot. Now the first thing you want to do is put your empty jar inside your pot and make sure there's at least four or five inches of free room above that jar because once you fill it full of water, fill it full of jars, and get it boiling, there's gonna need some room for expansion. And the last thing you want is boiling hot water to overflow all over your stuff. It's probably gonna take two of these to fill up my pot to the level that I need it to be. Now don't forget, it's always easier to get rid of soap with cold water. So in the rinsing stage, I like to use just cold water and it really makes sure to get rid of all those soap suds. Don't forget the seal. And the band. Next thing you want to do after you've washed all your jars, put them on a cookie sheet. Get them ready to go in the oven. Now 
Bands and lids all go in there. Then put them in the oven. All right, the next thing we need to do is make the pickling solution. I really like to just make a seasoned rice vinegar and it's super easy. It's made with distilled white vinegar, water, brown sugar, and pickling salt. You can use any salt you want, but pickling salt doesn't have any of the additives, so the liquid stays clear. But since I use brown sugar, it doesn't really matter. Sometimes I like to use pink Himalayan salt because it's super healthy for you. It's got lots of trace minerals in it. Sometimes you could use iodized salt if you want. But today I'm using pickling salt because I have it. In the pot, I'm going to boil the mixture. I've already added a half a cup of dark brown sugar, two teaspoons of pickling salt, I'm going to put in two cups of distilled white vinegar. And four cups of water. The next thing that you need to do is boil the seasoned rice vinegar on the stove top. And give it a good quick stir before you do. You don't want anything sticking to the bottom or scorching. And as you can see, look at that beautiful dark color. This is one of the best, easiest seasoned vinegar recipes as you'll ever have. Super easy and super good for all different types of vegetables. Makes a great salad dressing too. I like to boil the mixture with the lid off because I think that it evaporates some of the water and it gets a really deep, rich flavor. As you can see, our large pot for canning is boiling, so I want to turn that down. If you look at the instructions for canning, it says simmering hot water. It doesn't say boiling water. So what you want to do is get the water boiling really, really hot, and then turn it down. Okay, the next step is to cut up the zucchini while you're waiting for the vinegar to boil and you're waiting for the jars to finish sterilizing in the oven. So now, the last step basically, at least the last bit of work, is cutting up whatever you're gonna pickle. So I like to literally just slice them up like potato chips. And I like them a little bit thinner uh, because I think it absorbs the flavor a lot better and it gives you a lot more uses. If you haven't figured it out by now, and if you haven't seen it on every cooking show you've ever watched, you would definitely want to tuck your fingers in. You don't want to leave any fingers hanging over the edge because they could end up in the pickle jar. Well, we're down through one big homegrown zucchini into number two. So if you've never grown zucchini at home, I highly recommend you do it. It's certainly one of the easiest vegetables to grow and you will get so much fruit. Yes, zucchini is technically a fruit. Anything with seeds is a fruit, and anything without seeds is a vegetable. Who'd have thunk it? Well, let me get through the rest of this one, and by then, we should have some jars ready to fill these up. Well, the pickling solution is definitely boiling. I'm gonna give it a couple of good stirs. And then I'm gonna turn it off and I'm gonna let it cool a little bit before I put it into the jars with the zucchini. Have you ever heard of the expression, the watched pot never boils? Well, both pots boiled, but we're still waiting on the oven under a minute. At last, the jars are done. Carefully take them out and fill them up. Now, I really recommend doing this with more than one hand, but in an effort to film this, I'm gonna try it. Can anybody say zucchini? I'd say that's enough zucchini for a party, huh? Next step, now that they're all cut up, the jars are sterilized, the pickling solution is finished, 
and the water bath is ready is to fill the jars and add the pickling solution. Okay, I'm not sure how many jars we're gonna need, but we're gonna start filling them up. I kinda just throw them in different ways, flats, on their edge, you name it. Goal is to not drop them all on the ground. Put some bigger ones with some little ones. There's really no method to the madness. The key is to just kind of fill the jars up. And it goes pretty quick. Try to make sure none of them are stuck together when you put them in the jars. And do not fill them all the way up. You want to have about a half of an inch of space in the top of the jars. I have found that it's better to underfill them than overfill them. So do not feel bad about using extra jars. Oh no, one man out, one woman out. Kinda wanna go quick with this because you don't want the jars to cool off too much because you don't want them to be cool and then put in a hot pickling solution and crack them. But we're getting good. Right now I've got a ton of peppercini in the yard that I need to harvest. So I'll probably be doing that tomorrow morning. So probably be back here tomorrow afternoon doing the same thing with pepperoncinis. And if you have never made homemade pepperoncinis, that is if you like pepperoncinis, they're the bomb. The bomb. And one of the easier peppers to grow, at least in my opinion. All right, we're getting close. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my pickling solution I'm going to bring it really close to my jars. I'm going to use a half cup container and I'm going to try not to make a mess. I found that the half cup's probably the best. If you try to use a cup, I just end up making a big mess. And I'm kind of going to alternate the jars. So I don't have them cool off too much. Man, I hope I made enough. Didn't think I was gonna get this many zucchinis. Might have to make another batch solution here. That's a first, but that's okay. Cause not all of these jars I'm gonna pickle in the hot water bath. That's good to keep them going for about six months to a year, but these don't last that long. So a lot of times we just put them in the fridge and they last a good two, three months. So there's three full jars and that's good. I'll make some more brine. You want to wipe these off dry, wipe these off dry, lid them up, center that lid, crank that down, set it aside, center that lid, crank it down, it's done. That's a little wet, I want to dry that off, center. Crank it down. Perfect. Okay, I wanted to show everybody the water for the canning. So if anything, it's just really simmering lightly. It's got a tiny little boil, but not what most people would consider a boil. So if you look at the instructions, it says into warm simmering water or a quote-unquote hot water bath, not a boiling water bath. 
These are what I want to show you next. These are the tongs. They're a silicone tip, so they have a really good grip on a bottle. And what you do is you basically want to grip it like that and lower it into the water. And that's how you're going to take it back out of the water. So I do basically that. And then I have a rag or a towel that I put underneath it. And then I'll set them to dry. Now you want to put them in nice and slow because every time you put a jar in, that water level is going to raise. And you definitely don't want to overflow at this stage. So I've got two jars in there, and if you look how high that water level is, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take some water out. Because I can get at least two more jars in there. Tricks of the trade. Set those bad boys in gently. Whoa, to the rim, baby. So I've got three jars in there, and I think that's about all it's going to hold. So I'm going to set my timer for 15 minutes. And then we'll do the other two jars. When they're done, I'm going to let them sit in there for a couple of minutes before I take them out. So it's probably about 17 minutes total. And at this stage, I want to put the lid back on. All right, batch number one's done. Take that lid off and be very, very careful. Dump off that extra water from the lid. And pop these last two jars in. Just enough water there to cover the lids. All right, we're done. Finally, pop this over in the sink. And get these last two jars out of here. heavy. Sweet. Well, there you go. Five jars of pickled zucchini straight from the yard. The last step is to let them cool. And when you do, the center button right there will go down and it'll lock in place and you know that they're sealed. If this video helped you out, if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe because it really helps me out. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.